Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to part number three of my Final Fantasy VII. A uh, little let's play we got. So let's uh, jump right in to it. But uh, one thing I want, well, there's a few things I want to quickly note. Um, basically, like at the end of part two, I was uh, saying like I'm just going to sit here and grind a little bit. Well, during that I ended up having a uh, power cut. So basically everything I did in part two was... Um, well, pretty much erased since I hadn't saved. So, what I've done uh, since then is, from the end of part one, I basically went and did everything that I did in part two. Um, I did fight a few battles in the train yard to earn a little extra money so I didn't have to sell so much. Um, but that's pretty much the only difference. Uh, since then, I've gone back to this area, uh, I've started grinding, and I've leveled some material up, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, like, I've reached level 20, I've earned a nice bit of money, um, I've got my limit breaks, the, well, I've got the kill limit breaks for Cloud and Barret. I don't know why, but I, I, I was so tempted to say uh, Tidus instead of Cloud then, uh, from FF10. Uh, but yeah, anyway, as you can see on the time, it says 6 hours 42 minutes, that's not true. I've been AFK for a good 2, 2 and a half hours, maybe even 3. Um, so really, it does not take long to get to this point, you know, about two hours solid time. Well, um, I mean, let's just see what we got. We got, uh, all the, well, we've got level one limb breaks, and then we've got level two and level three kills for Cloud. Uh, so now for Cloud, in order to get the remaining limb breaks, I just have to use level two and level three a few times. Uh, same with Barrett, pretty much, only I've got to use his level ones a few more times. And Tifa, well... Tifa is uh, a very slow character to do it on. <laughs> Excuse me. And because I'm not going to use Tifa in like the uh, the main game. Well, I shouldn't really say the main game. Basically, I'm not going to use Tifa like once I get a few more characters. So I'm not really too like concerned about her. And as for materia, we've leveled uh, pretty much all the materia on. Uh, we've leveled that up. Uh, so we've got level 2, so there's no real reason that I've done that, but, uh, well, you know, it makes life easier. And I gave uh, T for all since I was planning on, um, like, killing uh, Barrett and Cloud off to help me get a kill, but I decided, nah, no real point. But, uh, yeah, let's move on, shall we? And, uh, well, finally save the game. Because I haven't actually saved in like the past ooh, five hours. Well, no longer than that. It's like, let's see, part one was around 34 minutes. And this has basically been going on since the end of that. So, yeah, it's been going on around six hours without saving and a hell of a lot of grinding. Really don't want to have to do it again, to be perfectly honest. Especially considering the fact that. Like, when I had my power cut, it was uh, almost done, you know? Like, it wasn't quite as far to this point, but the kites levels were around 15, 16. So, I was a good three quarters of the way there. Yeah, thereabouts. So, first thing I'm going to do is definitely save the game. But now we just have to go through these endless, mindless screens, which FF7 seems to love using. Okay, I think there's only this one now, and then I think we're done. Yeah, these enemies are uh, quite good because they drop an item that uh, can cause slow, and there's a lot of bosses in this game that are vulnerable to it. So it can come in uh, quite handy. Providing that the battle actually finishes rather soon. Uh, uh, Tifa's one shot in now. But yeah, um, if you want like easier ways to get the limits, then you can basically go to the train graveyard at the start of the game. Well, near the start of the game, with um, bolts combined with all, and that'll pretty much one shot all the enemies. It's pretty much the same for this tunnel if you want to do it here. The only difference is in the graveyard, there's a monster that drops Eivers, or Ivers, or however you pronounce it. I mean, I generally lead towards the um, 
like ether side but you know to each their own to each their own yeah uh, the tunnels like bear for just pure amounts of kills because you generally encounter like four monsters on average typically Yeah, as you can see, I've got like quite a bit of money for this point in the game, and that's going to come in very, very helpful shortly. And yeah, we're through the tunnel. That's one down tiny hole. You tell me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we going to do? Hmm, should we be cautious and look inside? Should we be ballsy and jump down? Or should we be cowards? Yeah, let's be ballsy. But damn, man, nothing's giving me the chills. You know, judging by, like, how tight a fit it is for Cloud, how the hell does Barrett fit in it? Oh, is that an Eva? Yeah, Eva. Now that we've got that, it, uh, I, I really could basically just um, power some uh, kills for Tifa, but yeah, I really don't want to, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Instead, we're going to go where... Uh, I say that, no, I can't power kills with Tifa. Because she doesn't have um, a weapon or a piece of armor with two combined slots. There should be a save point somewhere around here. At least I think there should. Oh, are they mono sweepers? What are they? Blue go. Hmm. They put me to sleep! It's so boring, I fall asleep. Still, I wouldn't have imagined being trapped in a bubble of water would put you to sleep. You know, I think it'd be like the opposite. And here we have a female surviving a rocket launcher to the chest. Yeah. I'm well, saying that Tifa sets are insanely big, so I suppose the rocket could have just bounced off that shit. Okay, so it takes two hits to kill these. They have more health than the typical enemies around here. I wonder if they give, like, good XP. Or good AP. Although I'm really in, like, no position to typically care much. Because... Oh, excuse me. I'm already, like, powered up enough to easily get me through Midgar and then some if I'm honest it's like my levels right now I could probably complete the game at you know so like I probably I, I definitely won't have to stop to train again but uh, well I will but it's really unnecessary where's the save point Ah, there he is. No one wants. I wonder what the item is. Uh, it's probably just a potion or something like that, though, isn't it? Oh no, it's a tent. Okay. Well, since I've got no MP, I'm actually going to use that tent. Oh yeah, I didn't show my items off, did I? Uh, we got 94 antidotes. I'll sell them. 21 grenades. Again, I'll sell them. We got a high potion. Yeah, that's it. Uh, excuse me a few seconds, guys. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, where were we? Um, Shut the items. Oh yeah, I was going to use 10 ones. It's fully, uh, fully uh, MP'd up. So one bolt, two bolts. Oh, has Tifa got bolts? No, she's only got Cure. 
We just got two bolts then. Class only got one. Oh, it's only got one. Oh wait, yeah, I only have two, don't I? Crap. Well, other than that, I'll be taking uh, the materia off him soon anyway. So we're about to uh, lose control of Tifa and Barrett for a short while. And there's no point in them having my materia, is there? Slide! Let me on the slide! Oh. Oh damn, that's hot. Word of advice. Never drink coffee freshly made. Or should I say, never go in for a big mouthful. Damn, that burns my lips. Huh. So the enemies that we've just been fighting in threes, we encounter in fours here. Well, that's great, isn't it? I should have fought them here. It would have been quicker. Is that one done? How much XP am I going to get from 4 often? 112 and 12. Yeah. It would have saved me a lot of time if I could, like, constantly encounter them. But, I don't know, I have a feeling I can't. And yeah, notice how uh, this area is identical to the first reactor. Oh wait, no, I thought it was going to send me down the very bottom. But yeah, notice how um, it's identical. The only difference is it's a completely different reactor. But funny thing is, when you're going through this area the first time, you can see that slide as well. As well as the door at the very top. So, I think they got a bit lazy here. Just a copy and paste. With maybe a bit of a bluer tint in this background area. And obviously the addition of random battles. Oh, it's smogs. Those are enemies that, uh, well, when they turn red, we'll be having a lot of fun with them. Not for a ways off. Oh, leveled up. I wasn't expecting that anytime soon. We gotta go become terrorists. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll take the um, materia off here. In fact, no, saying that there's still a ways to go before the boss. I think this uh, video is going to be as long as the other guys, I'm afraid. Because I've actually got to go out in about 20, 25 minutes. So I think I'll set this bomb, save it, end this video there. And then uh, do another part when I get back. You know, I completely forgot what Cloud's hometown was called. Therefore, uh, Sephiroth did this to you, didn't he? Yes, he did, Tifa. Yes, he did. Tifa hates you, Cloud. And now this is where he becomes a crybaby. Down, down, down. Damn, man, get a hold of yourself. I don't wanna. You alright? Do I look alright to you, bitch? I'm lying on the floor. Tifa. Hmm? No, forget. Come on, let's uh, hurry. And again, I have to set the bomb. Man, these guys are lazy. Hmm. 
Alright, so yeah, we'll save it now and. But yeah, I'm Prime Liquid. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like. I'm not going to ask for comments because I know a lot of people don't really want to upgrade to Google+. Plus. I'm one of them as well, so I understand exactly where you're coming from. But uh, if you like the video, then stick around. If you're not so, uh, subscribed, then please do so. And as always, guys, peace out.